Hey there, friends. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I know I did. And today I'm going to show off all of the gamer-related swag that I got for Christmas. And since I got an abundance of Legend of Zelda-related things, I will start with those. And I'm going to start big. Link's Awakening for the Switch. Uh, I've already played some of it, and I'm digging it really, really, really hard. And uh, I'm probably going to go right back to playing it as soon as I'm done making this video. Uh, if you haven't played this or haven't heard of it, this is actually a, uh, a remake of the game for Game Boy. And it was actually the fourth Zelda game ever made right after Link to the Past. So if you're a Zelda fan in any capacity, I urge you to check it out if you haven't already. Now these are... Sticker skins for various pieces of my Switch. There's stickers for the uh, Switch itself, the Switch dock, and the controller. And I look forward to putting these on my controller and playing with them on and reminding me of just how big a Zelda fan I am. Next, we have some Legend of Zelda socks. Oops. There we go. Link holding his shield and swinging his sword. That's the way I like to see him. <clears throat> and now we have this. Legend of Zelda Thermos. It's got a picture of the Hylian shield on it. And then a nice uh, image of Link. Uh, if I recall correctly, that's from Twilight Princess. This image. Sorry about the glare. There's not that much I can do about it. Moving on from there, my best friend actually got me a poster of the map from A Link to the Past. So it's basically this, but in poster format that I eventually will find a frame for and put on my wall. I also got a t-shirt from my wife of Legend of Zelda, so here's a picture of that. Very nice t-shirt. And now we'll move on. I also got an Amiibo. <clears throat> I have most of the Mario and Legend of Zelda related Amiibos that I want. This one's name is Blathers. He's from Animal Crossing. He's an owl, and I like owls in general. So this was not a bad gift by any means. And he runs the museum in Animal Crossing. Moving on, we have ourselves a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I haven't got any new Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a while, so we're going to open these right up now. We're going to turn this into a unwrapping video. Impromptu. Aren't you so lucky? There we go. Throw that away. How about that? Mystic Fighters. Let's see what kind of Mystic Fighters we can unwrap. Okay, Balancer Lord. It's a Cyburst monster. Let's see how close I can get up to the camera with that before you just can't focus on it anymore. I can't get the camera to focus on the card, it's focused on the background. Well, sorry about that. Laundry Dragon Maid. Well,. Anybody who's fans of the anime Dragon Maid might want to collect these cards just for the name alone. Sign it back door. True King of All Calamites. And House Dragon Maid. This is a fusion monster. Oh, that was nice. I will add those to my collection. And now, <clears throat> here's a big piece. My wife got me these. New gaming headset. I uh, had been needing a new headset, not because the one I have is bad, but 
because uh, it's really wearing out. You can see the uh, the bits of like fake leather around the ear pieces have deteriorated a lot because they see a lot of use because as you know I spend a lot of my time gaming and then also there was always this issue with the volume control being right next to my uh, love handle I guess you call it and sometimes just when I'm gaming the volume will go up and down because the little wheel you don't have a way to lock the wheel so the uh, the volume would constantly get accidentally adjusted from just me shifting in my chair and making the wheel scroll with my body so let's open this pretty little baby up <coughs> actually let's cut ahead to when I have this thing opened all right here we are <coughs> oh there we go comes all out as one big piece oh wow Look at the size of those gigantic squares. Okay. Man, look at these. Wow, that, that's a little, that's a tiny microphone. See that? That's the mic right there. Well, I wonder how it'll compare to this big honking thing. Okay, and it lights up. There's the USB for the lights, and hmm, it's a single cord. It's a single cord for both the microphone and the headphones. The set I have has two separate cables, but anyway. Uh, the next time you see me, uh, expect me to be wearing these. <clears throat> so that does it for the gamer haul. Uh, I hope it was all to your liking. And uh, I hope everyone has a happy new year. And I will see you in the next gaming video.